Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. If you're new to my channel, my name is Melissa and I'm a nursing student. So I just want to say really quickly before I start this video, thank you so much to everybody who has subscribed to my channel, engaged to my channel by liking my videos or commenting on my videos. I have officially hit over 1,000 subscribers, which is huge. I don't consider myself a YouTuber at all. I'm just a nursing student who happens to film YouTube videos. But everyone has been so nice to me and so positive on this channel. I've met some people that I go to school with and I'm just really grateful for the fact that my channel is helping people out, the fact that I'm getting to meet new people, and the fact that everyone has been so positive and sweet to me. So thank you guys so, so much. And if you watch my videos and you haven't subscribed yet, I would really appreciate you subscribing. So today is a coffee and chat. I actually have my Dunkin' coffee. It's an iced coffee that needs to be mixed. And in case anyone's curious, my order at Dunkin', I get the same thing every time. I get a medium black coffee with no sugar, no cream, but I get three pumps of the caramel swirl. Because the swirl is like a flavored thing, and it has its own sugar and its own, like, it's creamy on its own, so I don't get anything extra. So that is what I'm going to be drinking today in my coffee and chat. And today is just going to be a quick video. I'm going to be talking about non-hospital jobs that you can do while you are in nursing school. So my advice to everybody watching this is if you are able to attend nursing school or attend a nursing program and you do not have to work, my advice would be that you don't work. And people have different opinions on that. A lot of people say that if you don't have to work, it may be good to take like a part-time job or a PRN job, which is like as needed. Um, as a CNA, which is a certified nursing assistant, or as a PCT, which is a patient care tech, but just something in the hospital where you're working hands-on with patients and you can get experience to put on your resume. And while I think that's a good thing, I really do think that that's a good thing. If you're able to do that, that's great. But my advice personally is if you don't have to work at all while you're in school, don't do it especially if you're in an accelerated program. If you've seen my previous videos, then you may or may not know that I attend Chamberlain University, and it is a three-year BSN program. So it's a full-time accelerated program that is condensed from a traditional four-year program to three years. And if you transfer in with credits like I did, you could finish as early as two years and four months, I believe. So now that that's out of the way, unfortunately, most of us do have bills to pay, family to take care of, or just other obligations. Sometimes you even have to pay your own way through school, so it's not always realistic to not work at all while you are in nursing school. And that's the case for me. I work full-time, Monday through Friday, like 40 hours a week, in addition to attending a full-time program, my full-time nursing program. Now I'm going to make a separate video on hospital jobs or direct patient care jobs, something along that line that you can do while you're in nursing school. But for the purposes of this video, I thought that it would be nice to make a video on non-hospital jobs that you can do while you're in nursing school. For one reason or another, not everybody wants to work in the hospital environment. Not everybody has access to get into the hospital environment. Just, you know, if you have no healthcare experience. Like me, I have healthcare experience, but I don't have direct patient care experience other than volunteer work. So for me, I have two previous degrees. I have a bachelor's degree that's totally unrelated to healthcare. I have a master's degree that is in healthcare administration slash healthcare management. I have my MHA. So for me, it was a lot easier to get like an office job or a desk job for more money than it was for me to go and get like an entry level hospital job for less money and I don't even have the experience. So whatever your reasoning is, if you're somebody that does not want to work in the hospital while you're in school, but you do want a job, then this video is for you. So first I'm gonna go ahead and get my coffee ready because I really need my coffee. It's actually, I actually film these videos in the morning before work. Like I'm gonna be signing on to work in a few minutes and so I need my coffee. So the first job that you could look into pursuing while you are in nursing school is a nanny or a caretaker for children, but I just considered the term nanny. I don't know if that's outdated, but I have a friend in my program who is a nanny and my mother is actually a nurse. She's a director of nursing now, but she worked at the bedside for years. She got her nursing degree 
back in the 80s she got her associate's degree and then in 1990 she got her bachelor's degree but my mother was a nanny all throughout her nursing school journey and she loved it if you are good with kids this is a great option for you nanny schedules can be flexible depending on the family that you're working with if you're working with school-aged kids and your job is to pick them up after school make sure that they get their homework done take care of them before their parents come home this is a job that could allow you to work primarily in the evenings and the weekends which would free up your schedule during weekdays to attend classes i attend an evening and weekend program with chamberlain but most nursing programs only offer daytime weekday classes so this would allow you to go to clinic to go to your lectures and then in the evenings you can do your job and be a nanny okay so the next job that I have listed is a waitress or a bartender so I actually know somebody who is attending nursing school right now and she is a bartender bartending is great because the hours can vary you can work during the middle of the day you can work on the weekend you can work at night you can work till 2 3 a.m if you're attending an evening program you can still go to work after school because bars are open so late and even though the base pay may not be great for a waitress or for a bartender you can make a really good amount in tips so the next job that i have is actually direct patient care but it does not necessarily have to be in a hospital and that is a cna or a certified nurse's assistant you can actually make a really good salary on this if you are working with an agency and if you're working one-to-one -one. so you don't always have to go to a hospital you can work in a nursing home you can work in a person's house like as a private duty aid and when I was like writing the list of jobs I was thinking more so of a private duty aid that way you're one-to-one -one with your patient or your client you can go to their home especially if you're needed or working overnight you can care for your patient and while they're sleeping you can be watching them while getting some homework done on the job if your employer is okay with that this is also a great job because it's something that you can do full-time and you can be working full-time around your school schedule or you can go on part-time a few days a week or you can even go on PRN so if you need extra cash you can pick up a shift with an agency and the reason why this job is so great is because it is giving you patient care experience and if you're in nursing school already you then you probably already know that after you're done with fundamentals i believe i believe it's fundamentals once you're completely done with your first round of clinicals you are eligible to become a cna so another job that you can do is working in a call center if you are familiar with call centers or if you have ever worked in a call center then you know that this may not be the most exciting job but there are some benefits to it if you are going to nursing school especially if you're doing a full-time program for one thing the schedule is rigid so you won't have to worry about getting off of work late or your schedule changing up and you're not being able to attend classes or not being able to attend clinicals you're going to have a pretty standard schedule so that you won't be missing anything when it comes to school a lot of call centers now are you know remote so you may be able to work from home which is a benefit if you don't like leaving your house or if you don't want a commute you don't want to have to deal with a commute the pay is decent you will not necessarily make a lot of money like depending on what your standard is but you will have a steady income where you won't have to worry about your wages fluctuating and this is a job where again I'm speaking generally you will not have to take home work so once you sign on to work you do have to be focused the full time that you're working but once you sign off you are free to go to class go to clinical do your homework and study so even though this is not the most exciting job and it comes with its own stressors like emotionally mentally this is a good job in terms of the schedule and the pay that you could do while you're in nursing school and the last job that i have is a receptionist so if you are working as a receptionist this is another job where it can be flexible it's more rigid than the other jobs a lot of receptionist positions are daytime monday through friday like standard hours so this is honestly great for somebody who is attending an evening and weekend program like me but there are also facilities that are open 24 7 that do require evening receptionists or overnight receptionists this is a great job because depending on your employer it's a job where you may be able to get some school work done on the job especially if it's kind of slow i worked as a receptionist years ago and this was back when i was getting my master's degree 
and I was able to do work at the desk when things were slow. It was amazing because I was on my computer so people coming in couldn't really see what I was doing. I knew when the busy hours were so I didn't do my homework during the busy hours. During the calm hours I would get some homework done. The pay is decent, the pay is steady and this is another job where you can work full time or you can work part time. And I think the best thing about a receptionist job is that your hours are pretty rigid. Unlike the other jobs where there's flexibility and there's a lot of positive and flexibilities, but for a receptionist job, nine times out of 10, you're not gonna be working late. So if you're supposed to get off at five, for the most part, I know that some employers are unreasonable, but for the most part, if you're supposed to get off at five, you would not be leaving your job later than like 5.15 on any given day. And if you attend an evening or weekend program where the classes start at six, you know that you're always gonna be on time for school, you know nothing's gonna pop up. And I think that there's a lot of like comfort in the fact that it's so rigid and your schedule's kind of set. So that is the end of this video. I know that it's quick, but I have to sign on to my job because I work full time. But if there is a job that you can think of that is great to do while you're in nursing school that I did not mention, please comment down below. Or if you are in nursing school or doing your prerequisites and you have a non-hospital job, comment down below what it is because I am curious and it'll probably help out other people watching this video. Like I said, I'm going to make another video with direct patient care jobs or hospital jobs that you can do while you're in nursing school because there are a lot. There are also a lot of hospital jobs that don't involve direct patient care that you can do while you are in nursing school. So I'll probably make a video on that too. I have to finish my coffee and I have to sign on for work. But thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you again for subscribing to my channel. I really appreciate it and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.